So let's look at software engineer jobs in the UK, September 2024. We're going to be looking at read.co.uk and we'll also look at Indeed. And we'll also look at the ONS with statistics about employment across the UK. So let's get started. Okay, so 297 software engineer jobs in remote. Just need to get rid of these ones that aren't of any interest. Software engineer work from home. See what this one is. Howden is a collective, a group of talented, passionate people. 18,000 employees spanning 100 countries. Web development. C Sharp, Azure. So if you like Microsoft, there you go. Uh, I'm just going to skip past that. Sorry, you'll have to put up with my bias here. I'll skip over uh, any of the C Sharp jobs because this is my, mainly going to focus on Python jobs and some Rust ones, maybe. Yeah, more hardened. They seem to be on a big recruitment drive. And I don't know what your thoughts are on the way the world's going, but it does seem that the government seems to be one of the larger employers um, or outsourced, government outsourced employment. Here we go. So PHP, Node.js, four years using PHP. Just out of curiosity, let's look at the salary, if they've put it. 50 to 58,000 Reading, Berkshire. If you're not from the UK, that may or may not seem like a lot of money. Um, it's probably a bit above average, but uh, you always have to consider the location and whether these roles are truly work from home. Sometimes they say work from home, but you have to go to the office two or three times a week. Here we go. Software engineer Python AA, AI slash ML. Large legal group of a focus on data driven decision making across the business. Python, Flask, Django, RESTful API, Azure, SQL, ETL. So did we see the salary? 50 to 60. So that's quite a good. That's quite a good salary for a mid-level role, I would say, from what I've seen. Annual bonus, 10%. I can't remember if you get taxed on a bonus. I think you do. Data engineering certification. It's a plus. So, I don't have any experience with Azure, so that's not for me. Right, software engineer, 40 to 50. I would say this is kind of more your bread and butter type of salary. Um, C sharp is your... So in September 24, it seems like C sharp and Azure are very popular. Let's try and find something that's not C sharp or Azure. So this is in Cambridgeshire. NHS Trust. A website and a patient portal. What occurs to me is that all these trusts, which are basically um, where the government gives the trust some money and then they have to manage it themselves, uh, it just seems like every all these trusts are replicate reinventing the wheel each time. That's, if somebody knows differently, then please say because I might be wide of the mark there but pension you pay in 10 percent your employer puts in 22 point that's yeah that's pretty good if you're worried about a pension then that this might be the job for you c sharp net framework so this is what you will find if you go on the mainstream job websites you will find that much of the work involves 
C sharp, Azure. There we go, C sharp. So as soon as you put in software engineer, it's highly likely it's going to return C sharp, SQL, Agile, a comment. Senior software engineer, I would say that's the that's a low salary from what I've seen for a senior software engineer. Oh, that's the same one again. This is a problem with a lot of um, recruitment sites. You see the same advert, same vacancy appearing many times. Senior software engineer, I would say that's, that's a more, that's a higher salary for senior than you might commonly see. Okay, capital markets, Rust, crypto, AWS, TDD, low latency programming. Personally, I would think that was a more interesting job. If you've got knowledge of crypto, Crypto is still a bit of a wild west, whereas uh, yeah, I won't start singing the praises of Bitcoin, but crypto is usually funded by VC venture capital and uh, not all of them succeed. But if you want to go and work there for a year and make a fortune, that might be an option. US tech startup, fully remote, $180,000. React, Node, eight years commercial experience, strong GraphQL experience. That's interesting. Um, where's that based? Well, obviously USA is your location of your employer. You might find yourself working late at night to um, overlap with their working hours. That's the one drawback. Lead software engineer, London, work from home. It's on cloud-based, biggest companies in Europe, digital solutions. That's a lot of word salads. Let's see if there's anything a bit more specific. JavaScript, TypeScript, React, 100,000, okay. TypeScript, senior software engineer. Let's look at this one. 75 to 80,000, Bristol, permanent full time, work from home. FinTech, good tech for good, FinTech in Bristol, monthly socials. Let's look at technologies. Golang, okay. GCP. Node.js, TypeScript, React. Terraform, GCP, AWS, NoSQL, GraphDBs, TDD, BDD, Go, Go. I think what would be nice would be if you had like a word cloud with each of these. You could just quickly look at that. It would be like a TLDR. Reading, Berkshire, we've already seen that. Like That's cropping up in so many adverts. They must be keen. Right, here we go. Senior software developer.net, C Sharp, Azure. I think we're getting the, uh, the idea that many, many jobs are C Sharp and Azure. That's if you search for software engineer. Obviously, if you search for... Uh, in a second, I'll search for Python developer, don't worry. <laughs> I think we've seen enough of these um, uh, C Sharp, JavaScript. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's go for Python. I won't put engineer because that would probably... Uh, engineer would probably find a lot of... Um, DevOps jobs. 93. Okay, London. Let's contract one there. 
Heat Recruitment, Python Developer London. Five years experience. Yeah, here we go. Data pipelines. So it's, it looks a little bit more AI, ML Ops, uh, Django, Flask, Fast API. Python developer, 450 to 520 a day. Work from home. Django, Django, Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, React, Tailwind, PostgreSQL. So almost as if if you, if you want to do Python, you need to have React in um, JavaScript. You need to be a full stack if you're going to be looking for some of these Python roles. 685 a day, software developer, Developer, PyQT, PySide to join team on five month, five month. Oracle databases. Create a touch friendly user interface for Windows 10, 11. Okay. Different. Experience with Oracle databases and ORM technologies. Okay, SQL Alchemy. SC eligible, so you'd need to be cleared for security. Clearance, you might find that's a, a military role or producing software for something related to the military. Um, HL7, that'll be an NHS role because HL7 is some sort of uh, DNA, uh, DNA serious disease space. Wow. C sharp, yeah, down near the bottom is Python. So I think it, they, they might be keener on somebody with C sharp experience. Um, four months work from home, three to four hundred pounds per hour. I think that's per day, to be honest with you. Three years software development, Java, Python, or JavaScript, MySQL, Postgres, AWS. Nice to have data privacy, data cleansing, security practice, messaging solutions. With a lot of these contract roles, you, you'll probably need to already have done some contracting because otherwise uh, you, you probably show your <laughs> naivety. And um, it, if they find out this is your first contract role, then uh, they, they might not be so keen. Data engineer, data engineer. So a lot more of the Python roles are, are kind of um, data engineering, TL, Cloud type stuff, Databricks, S3 for the data lake, CEO of Databricks. Problem with a lot of these are uh, these are the things that you will you probably won't be able to kind of learn self taught, really, I would say. Um, I mean, partially you can, but realistically, you, you're never going to be able to be self taught and be familiar with a lot of these larger. Larger uh, sort of platforms, technologies, BI, analytics, data scientists, AWS. Yeah, so I think we're getting the gist of this. This is mainly um, C Sharp, Azure, AWS. So if that's your bag, then that's, that's good. But if it's not, then um, let's look at something else. Um, senior software engineer, no mandates, re meetups. Swift developer, PHP, Python, mortgage broker, network engineer. I used to do network engineer, Cisco, COC, MP, but just seemed that the trend was moving away to um, cloud-based, or you had to actually live right next to a data center. Uh, 5G LTE, Starlink-based wireless solutions. Incidents, incident resolution, you just tied to service now or remedy, and that's not fun. If the salary was the top end, that would that would be okay. Um, let's just look at a, 
land rights surveyor, national remote full stack developer, React, TypeScript, blah, blah, blah. Senior data engineer. So basically companies want React, TypeScript, C Sharp, and oh, blockchain technology. I think when the dust settles, there'll be Bitcoin and then there'll be maybe one or two left standing, but they'll probably they'll probably fizzle out. They will go ten to zero over five, ten years compared to Bitcoin. DevOps engineer, that's quite a difference in salary, forty five to up to one hundred and forty. Mm. Yeah, again, blockchain, Web 3.0, decentralized technologies, AWS, Git, Docker, Elastic Stacks, and called Log DNA. Okay, that's um, a bit vague. So let's just round up by looking at the UK employee earnings in the UK 2023. Just, um, just to put what we've just looked at into a, a bit of context, um, here they start talking about the weekly salaries, median weekly earnings, which you then have to try and sort of multiply by 52 and divide by 12. So um, let's just look at some graphs. Employee earnings and hours worked, full-time. So the full-time people, those lines kind of follow each other. There's nothing to uh, right home back there. So full jobs, full time. Just comparing full time and part time. We're not over interested in that. This is interesting. Between 2022 and 2023, median weekly earnings increased by 9.1% among women and 6.8% for men. Okay. Twenty twenty three, the mean total paid hours for all employees was unchanged. There we can see more recently the private sector has had seven point seven percent versus three point seven percent in the public sector. And there we go. These are the, the actual employment sectors or the gross weekly full time earnings by occupation 22 23. I don't know if you can read that, but this is probably the IT software engineering programming one down here. Actually, the least growth. We can speculate as to why that is. So, caring and other service occupations had more. Sales, customer service, process plant, machinery operatives, elementary occupations. So yeah, that's that's not great, is it? The associate professional and technical occupations. Weekly full-time earnings. Information and communication. So that's not bad. That's somewhere in the middle. And what's that? That's weekly earnings increased across. I don't know how that correlates with what we just looked at, but um, anyway, unless you want to go and switch career to be uh, repair motor vehicles, <laughs> you, you're going to uh, drop back a bit. And this is the region. So you can see Scotland's actually the highest. Northern Ireland. So England is actually falling behind or, or not keeping up is with Scotland and Ireland. Um, and actually London is the one that's probably because London's got such a high starting point already. Um, it's always going to be difficult to keep on growing at a, such a big rate if you're already right up there. Um, gross weekly earnings. So this is by region. You see, the darker it is, the more they earn. Um, you see Bristol and Cardiff there. 
are actually higher than some of these southern counties. Birmingham's high. It, it'll be where all the finance roles are. Bristol's got plenty of finance. London's finance. I'm sure Birmingham's pretty got got plenty. Um, yeah, and then you've got the paler regions where where it's sort of um, pale yellow. Then it's much lower. But. There we go. So that's just a quick look at the um, kind of putting into context the. Oh, that's Manchester there as well. Like, put into context the salaries compared to the regions. Because um, obviously, if you want to earn a big salary, but you're living in a city, the cost of living's higher anyway. So, yeah, it's all got to be taken into account. I was just going to show you the um, satellite view. It wouldn't have meant much. So, um, yeah, there we go. That's just um, September 2024. Look at jobs. As we can see, we've got lots of software engineering using C Sharp and Azure. Lots of Python roles using that re also require TypeScript and React. And then there's some ML DevOps type ML data engineering backend, which is... Um, Python plus some cloud, obviously Kubernetes, um, Docker, and so on. So there we go, managers. And if you want to earn the most money, you need to be a manager or a director. <laughs> Associate professional, professional. So professional occupations, obviously that's sort of doctor, nurse, IT network, IT. Civil engineers, aerospace engineers, IT network professionals, 42,000. To be honest, the, the national average salary is about 33,000. So you could you could spend, <laughs> you could easily spend a thousand pounds trading for a Cisco, so enough to renew it every couple of years anyway. So um, yeah, courses, courses, it depends what you enjoy as well. But uh, yeah, Office for National Statistics. Take them with a pinch of salt because uh, <laughs> they do get modified sometimes to, um, how should we say, keep up to date with trends. If you know what I'm saying there, then they apply to you. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. I'll have um, some more to do with Scrape Ops Proxy soon, which is uh, I think is really good. And um, yeah, check them out. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon.